so this is what is on the agenda today 2020 Corvette C8 in here for some rough mock-ups and over here we got the boy himself this guy over here look at the growth you got the growth going on? Sounds like you. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to do. A couple, a couple more weeks, buddy. Yeah, you know, I thought it looked pretty good. I mean, look, if you look at me and then you look at you, it's like you got, you got the little, the length. I don't got the length yet, but I'm working you get on the it. Length. <laughs> couple, couple, couple weeks, man. I'm You'll working on it. I'm working on it. I'm in an actual C8 now I that drives. I'm stealing this one. <laughs> Whoa, I forgot what that sounded like. That's exactly what the goal for today is we're going to start with the front are we doing are we trying to do any measurements on the wide body what, what exactly is the goal today I think the main goal is i want to see how the prints well first off we learned a lot from the mark 5 yes so i'm really curious to see how accurate we're going to be able to go on our first try like our first print engineers did the best they could to get it to scale so first off i just want to like hold it up to the car and let's see how well it fits um and i think the main the main focus that I think we're gonna be really looking at today is the front fender. We added a vent right here. We wanted to replicate this rear vent okay. on the inside of this front fender. We don't know if the design will work 100% yet. In theory it works, but when it comes to reality, we might have too big of a vent when we, when we cut from this inside, you might see through it. So I think that's like a real big test that I'm really looking forward to seeing today is how much that design works. Um, and then yeah, I guess just figuring out scaling on the wing. Because we think it's a little too big. Uh, big wing gang, man. Yeah. Might, we might have went too big <laughs> on the wing. We're gonna we're gonna I see. don't know. That that's pretty wide as a wing right there. So I, I don't think it's wider. Do you think it's wider than that wing? No, I think the wing is actually shorter. So from what I've seen, I think our wing's too short. Like the wing should be, in my opinion, just as wide as the over fenders. Yeah, that's a general like a general. I believe the car's like 70 inches. Or what's the wing? 70 something. I want to say the wing's like 76 or something like that. I honestly that's, do think it's actually kind of important. That's going to be huge though. Yeah. If you do it from here to there. The whole car, I think, in total right. with the body <laughs> part, like 80 inches from side to side. But if you go too short, it's going to look dinky. It's a big car. If you go to it is, short, it is pretty wide. And that was a lot of feedback we saw in comments with the renders and the wing, because the wing only goes to about the width of the tail light. And when you see a rear quarter shot of the car, it looks like it's coming up too short. Like it looks off. So we'll set to see it in person.
it in the hole. Stick it in the hole. Yeah, you're good at that, right? Yep. You got two kids. <laughs> <laughs> So here it is, here's the first rough mock-up of the prototype Street Hunter build that is going down. Uh, obviously this is not TJ's car, uh, but this is pretty much as close as we can get to it right now uh, while the car is getting twin turboed. But right off the bat, the prototype fits amazing. I'm really excited because this gives us more time to just work on everything, the functionality of it, how everything gets installed and everything like that. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretty much finish up the other side. We're gonna go, once the other side is pretty much double side taped on there, we'll know that the lip is where it's supposed to be and we can just kind of start molding the lip together. Take that off and then we have the stock lip that needs to get pretty much molded as well. So pretty much after all that, we can go and pretty much commence all the body work as much as we can without drilling into the vehicle. Keep in mind this is only for research purposes, this is somebody's car. We can't mess this car up. We gotta take extra precaution and be very careful with it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. dirty again okay. but this time we got more time more time more time more not time our car, not our car not the car well calvin yeah came to visit us to say hello i'm here hello baby what do you think of the ca so far i think i'm gonna be honest the stock body c8 felt like a like a matchbox like it didn't look good so like what i mean by that is Please clarify, because I think the car looked great. You think it looks great? Okay, so, which is fine, but it kind of, it kind of tapers like this, and it's really, really sharp and angled and beautiful in the front, but it's boxy in the rear. It feels like there's yeah. a disconnect. In there's the definitely, I, I, I get that. You know? Okay, I get that. So, hopefully when we see the kit done and painted and primered in one color, that we'll see 
that transform the shape, like even out as for the lack of a better way of putting it, even evening out the shape of the car. Because I feel like it's just way too boxy for how aggressive it is on the inside and the outside and the front. So, Definitely. I'll... You trading in the super and get one of these? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Can't sleep. I feel like this right here. Like if you look at TJ's Aventador, this area right here is very, very similar. Like almost too similar. Yeah. Like, like, like copy my homework but change it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> gonna wrap it up for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so and follow us on Instagram to see all of our daily updated posts thank you guys so much again here at SOS customs we got you covered